Welcome. All right, so what we want to do for this problem is they want us to determine what is the net. So they give us a three-dimensional figure. I try to do my best. Hopefully you can kind of visualize what uh, this box looks like as a three-dimensional figure, even though it's written on two-dimensional uh, board. But anyways, so you can visualize a three-dimensional figure. What they want to do is they want to determine, well, what is the net, right? What is the two-dimensional figure of drawing of this that's going to show you all of the side lengths? So the first thing I need to think about is, you know, I'm given a rectangular prism. Um, and what I need to do is, first of all, if I can kind of visualize this, how many side lengths am I going to have? So what you might want to do, first of all, is kind of remember kind of count your first sides that you already have known that you can see. So the first couple side lengths that I can see here, I can say the front side, the one that's facing me, it would be one. The top is going to be two. And the third side is going to be three. So I have three different sides here. And if there's one thing if you remember about, you know, a square or even a rectangle, it is their opposite sides are equal to each other, right? Well, that's going to be the same thing for the rectangular prism. If I have a front side that is of the shape of this as number one, then I'm also going to have another side there, which I'll call side number four. And the same thing, three has an opposite side that's the same, which I'll call side number five. And if there's a top that's shaped like um, side number two, there's also going to be a bottom. So therefore, I'm going to have six sides. And that's really important when I create my net. I want to make sure I can add up all six sides. Now, in creating the net, I always like to kind of think about if you were kind of had your box, right? Just think of always like a cardboard box. And let's just say you took a knife down all those seams, right? And a big gust of wind just goes whoosh and just lays everything flat, kind of like a tornado or so a hurricane or something. Everything lays flat. How is it going to look? Well, obviously the base is going to be on the bottom. So we're going to have something that's going to look like this. Then, so that's my base, which is going to be side number six, right? That's the base. Then I'm going to have four parts that are going to come out. I'm going to have the front and the back and the right and the left side are all going to fall down. So the front and back are little squares. I'll call that one. And this one side number four. Then the left and right side are going to fall down. So that's going to be side number five and side number six. But then there's something that let's look at. Where is the top? Where is that going to go? Well, let's pretend it's going to be connected to one of these sides. It's going to have to fall to the left or to the right, or essentially it could even actually fall up or down. Um, or to, it could also could be connected to one of these two sides. But for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to connect it um, to my left side over there. Therefore, again, I just make sure that I have all of my side lengths. Notice how I diagrammed them and connected them all. And you can see now what I've done is created a two-dimensional net for this 3D uh, figure, where as if I fold these back up and then fold this over, I will get a three-dimensional figure. So there you go. That's how you create a net from this figure. Thanks.